what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to do motion tracking in blender so first thing to go to blender click on the top plus icon choose vfx then go to motion tracking all right all right first thing to do now is to load in our footage click on the open then go to your file directory where you save your footage then click and drag then press a to select all and then open clip all right now this is our footage we are working with and whenever you open blender this is how our motion tracking interface looks like we have tracks solve annotation track footage reconstruction clip and so on and to begin with tracking this footage there are some things we must do when we come down to this timeline section here we realize that our movie play to one extent stop that happened because our frame rate is 250 and the frame rate of our movie clip is 180 now we need to set the same frame to match our movie clip go to left corner and set the same frame all right now you see that our movie match the same frame rate as our video sequence now click on prefetch to catch our movie clip into memory now when we play through this we see that if you play smoothly without any lagging okay now let's add tracking markers and if you come to the tracking settings over here we have to click on normalize then click on the frame then change it to previous frame we need to do this whenever i want to do any camera tracking all right Control click to add the tracker. You can expand it by dragging. Now to add the search bar, click on clip display, then enable search. Alright. Now to track. If you click here, it will track single frame, and if you click the other, it will track the whole sequence. And this goes to the backward. Track forward and then track backward. Alright. And if you go to your right hand side here, click on tracks, then you find a little view of your sequence over here. And this is our marker, this is the pointing track, and the size of the view is the same size as the tracker here. Okay, now, now let's begin tracking. Single frame, then the whole sequence track. All right, now we track forward and it remains here that we haven't tracked. Now we need to track it backward. Then click on track it backward. All right, now in Blender, we need a solid track to be able to solve this camera. Now let's pick another frame. It's another side expand the search expand the track then track forward now you see that this track has left the marker then we need to adjust it find the frame that the tracker is good like here then erase it by clicking on here then track single frame single frame adjust it by pressing G then drag it to where it's supposed to be then continue tracking now press G again to drag it and put it back then continue tracking this is how you will refine your track yourself G then click here then continue tracking Whenever you see that the tracker is a little bit full of then you press G, drag it, then put it back, then continue tracking. G, then continue tracking. G, then continue tracking. 
now we drag the whole sequence and we need to pick another side another marker control click expand the search expand the marker then track backward this time we are tracking backward then click on single frame track backward the reason why i'm tracking it frame by frame is to monitor the tracker if it's doing well or not now let's track something around here Control click, expand it, expand it, and track. Now, here comes the issue. You see, this tracker is almost out of the frame, and to fix this, we must go to the frame where this marker is more visible and continue track from there. Continue tracking. Right, somewhere here. Okay, now press G and drag it to position. Then continue tracking. Okay, that is done. And let's add more markers. Span a little bit. Then track forward well that is done Alright, and to be able to track this properly, there are some few settings we must do. Go to the tracking settings, then change it from location to affine. By doing this, we will have more perspective on the track, and the track will distort according to the surface. And when the track lost, then press G and drag it back to position. Then continue tracking. So I'm going to go to solve this camera now. For us to solve this camera properly, we need to input our camera details, the sensor size and the focal length we shot with. Now come to camera here, and the sensor size we shot with is 23.5, which is the sensor size of my camera, and the focal length is 18 millimeter. Alright, click on soft camera motion. Now you see that we got the error of two. You can see the move better. Now click on refining, then select K1, K2, which is the LED distortion. Now soft camera motion again. Now you see that we got the error of 1.4, which is suitable for this type of footage. Alright. Alright, now that we are successfully track and solve our footage. Now we need to pack all this tracking information and put it in 3D space. And for us to do that, we need to set up the scene. Now come down to set up scene and select set up tracking scene. Now you see that when you look at the 3D view, you will see that we have a cube and a plane and the tracking markers also. Alright, now we need to set the orientation of our scenes in 3D space. And to do this, we need three tracking markers that are on the same surface. Now, pick three tracking markers, go to orientation and set floor. 
by looking at the 3D view, we realize that our scene is very large. And to fix this, we need to save scale. Now pick two markers that are on the same surface, then come to orientation scene, then set the distance to two, then set the same scale. Now go to top corner and select layout to view the 3D space. Press 0 to camera view. Click on the top corner, then come down to motion tracking, then enable it. That's how we can see our 3D markers in 3D space. Now I need to set the cube properly to sit on the surface of the track. Alright guys, thanks for watching my camera tracking tutorial. Next time, I'm going to show you how to do object tracking inside Blender. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.